Oh. <gasps> the moon! Yes! Give me the moon! Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to Liminal Gallery, an indie horror game made by the same developer, Ken Forrest, who's, uh, they also have another game I have to play, which I probably will do in the next, uh, recording, called Drone Delivery Despair. We'll, we'll save that for another time. But Ken Forrest, same developer, of course, who made Decontamination, uh, Toilet Rooms, Please Don't Litter, Wheat Harvest Paradox, and more recently that I had played called Moth House. It was just this giant house full of millions and millions of moths. I mean, if you want to see Moth House, of course, link in the uh, card up above, because it was an interesting game. But otherwise, Liminal Gallery and Drone Delivery Repair, two things I'm going to be playing. Right now, just Liminal Gallery. And let's see. Liminal Gallery is a small experimental project with unusual mechanics with which you can turn pictures into reality. Explore different rooms in the gallery looking for the door to the next level. The game is short and takes only 10 to 15 minutes. It's one of those games where you've probably seen it in memes or gameplay videos where it's like you take a small object and it, it becomes a large object, object based on depth perception and images that float in your face. It's sort of that kind of thing. That's the general idea. So we're going to see what the developer came up with on their own on this game. Let's check it out. Some nice elevator music. Suspicious ceiling work, though. Can we just leave? No. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And I almost forgot my actual daily plugin. Remember, there's a Discord server invite to my server down in my pinned comment. Pin comment, not the description. Pin comment. Where it's if you just read the rules and you just want to have a fun time, fun time, memes, everything, fun time. But be sure to read those rules and just don't ping me. But hey, it's a fun server. You should check out my Discord server down below. But otherwise, let's get back into the game. I just didn't want to plug that in way too late. Oh. What floor, though? Can we slip and fall? Mm. Oh god, it's the back rooms. Oh no. Mm. Oh. I still love how like these games feel like kind of thing. It's like it's nice, precise movement, and yet it's pixelated. It, I I don't know what I love about pixelated visuals, man. But all right. Uh huh. Take. Hold to aim. <laughs> huh? I can do it. Hard to restart the level, though, in case we mess up. Hmm. Ah, uh -huh. necessary. What if I do it like this angle? Oh. I think it. I think that's a bottomless pit. We're gonna avoid uh, accidentally falling. Hmm. Let's see if we can actually line it up. Hang on. Let's do a perfect. That's really close, but it's really, really close to perfection. <laughs> I mean, really close. Hmm, door's fake, though. Hmm. I mean... fell down from gravity. Oh god. Oh. Gotta make sure it just doesn't hurt my eyes. We're gonna do right here. Oh. 
Whoops. Uh, I'm sorry, I cut you in half. Let us just... Let's just get out of here. I'm gonna have to see if there's actually puzzle elements in these. Oh, door. Oh, wait. I need that. Can I... Spiral staircase my way up there? Or would that delete it? Let's find out. Huh? Uh, hmm. I'll just like I want that painting, but is this like a bad ending if I go through here? Because there's that painting, but unless I meant to not delete it. Oh wait, stairs. No, I I definitely I know that was definitely messed up. So let's do this. Almost closed the wall. We get the stairs, we use the stairs, we get the other painting, and then we're good to go. But really trippy, though, that's for sure. It'd be interesting to be able to have this kind of power, but... But what could you do with this power? You'd have to be super imaginative. Stairs. Give me the stairs. There's side stairs, though. I think I know where to put it. I just gotta make sure it's maybe aligned at least somewhat properly, not too... Downward. Mm, we'll see. Like that guy. So. We want. Mm, the depth of. Hmm. Try that. Oh! Ooh! That's almost perfect! Hey! I didn't even cut this thing in half accidentally. Right, let's get out of here. I mean, it's like I'd want it to be more flat, obviously, but I wanted the height to be able to reach it, and I did. Huh. Hmm. Bonk. Ooh, grass. Oh, fake grass. There's something mildly unsettling about this, but. Hmm. Just like uh, completely flattened. Almost gives me amnesia vibes. As long as something doesn't chase me under the water that's invisible. Wait. I think that was just a loop then. Wait, what? Oh, just a tree. Uh, oh, duckies. No, that goes. No. Is. I don't think that was. Why'd I fall through? Wait. Am I. You know what? Let's try this. I think that might have been what they want. Oh. I think because, like, the water is... Oh, God. <sighs> hmm. Well, I mean... I don't think I'm meant to be on the background image. I don't even know why this is here. Unless there's... I don't think there's going to be a painting here. I think we should just... We should just, uh... Jump. I'll just make it straight. And see... Yeah. Come on! Stupid... Mucky water! What if I do it this way? Wow. Oh, now I'm not falling through the floor. Weird. Is there some kind of 
it just was lacking floor at the start. Yeah, I thought I was messing up and had to do something different. It's just, I had to jump a little bit further. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right here, I think. Yeah. The, like, the water versus that, which is the ground. So there's that little missing flooring under the water. Gotta be careful. Duckies. Mm, nothing behind. Is that a, a spider painting? I want to release a spider. That's gross. Ooh, it released itself. Gross. Banana. Big banana. It's unfortunately really bruised. Only good for banana bread. Hmm. Alright, well. <laughs> and it actually blinked too. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, what are they going to do besides stare? I mean, we'll just keep moving. Whatever. I don't have much of a comment. Door. To see how it ends. It starts off like... Oh, camera. It starts off like the back rooms where you're falling through the floor, but it's just not back rooms. It's like liminal spaces mixed with back rooms, mixed with like a lot of different genres over the years. You took the camera. Okay. So what should I do? Oh. Okay. I will. Wait, wait, wait. Jeez, that was messing me up. I was like, I was like, wait, why am I? <laughs> I forgot I was looking upward. Okay, bunk. Very nice. We only have two shots though, unless we get more film. Simple rotation. More of him. Alright, let's see. Really cool. And then we rotate. And then we... I mean, there's too much black on the line there, but this should be fine. Yeah. Hmm. More. We need. River. That should be usable, honestly. I'll try that out. My brain tells me it should be fine. I just need to. Hmm. <laughs> Easy. Ha ha ha. Ho ho. Big brain circle. Ho ho. Plants. Hmm. We need a hallway, you say? Yeah, I mean, this just should be fine. I'd imagine. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna think big brain. I'm gonna just. Actually, hmm. What if I. I don't want to cover the door. Mm. 
Oh shit, that deleted the door. Never mind. Uh, okay, then I need to take a picture, I think, of the door itself. Right there. Let's hope that's fine then. Yeah, it's just. Eh, uh, good enough. <laughs> Isn't this just... Oh, there's bridges. Okay. As long as the door is always in frame, so it doesn't get deleted. I think. <laughs> no! No! Wait, oh, oh. oh, there we go, thank god. Almost made a mistake. Okay, you want... I'm just gonna skip ahead and do that one. Should be fine. And... Problem is... More, pers like, more depth than I was thinking, but... Should be fine. And we're good. We're good. What if we just like take a picture of this door? Is that just a cheat? Like, we're gonna. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> nope. Uh, let's see. I'll have to. Hmm. Actually, I need a hallway without that wall. Hmm. Actually. What if? What if? Oh, no, maybe the right idea. No, or, or. No! It was it was right there, no. It was gonna work. No. Okay, um We just gotta make sure we don't delete the door. Well at least I see where it is. Just be able to climb over it basically. Okay what the Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Just gotta <laughs> use the ceiling. Why not? <laughs> nope. Yeah, easy. But at least the game's getting harder. I'd be curious on just how, what kind of. Like, what would be the smartest move to get the uh, solution, I wonder, besides what I did? I'd be curious on just how many methods of finding a way to. Actually. If I do this, would it be stairs? Would it recognize itself as stairs or not? Or would I have to do a side angle like the prior level? Actually, hmm. Maybe I'd need the door in focus. Hmm. I'll see what happens. Right. Well, yeah. Hmm. Might have to take the picture of the stairs repeatedly. Let's do a little distanced. My question, hmm. But what if I just take a picture of the door and just repost it, or would I need to be... Hmm. I think... I think it's bad, you know what? Oh god. I think... I think I shouldn't do that, maybe. Actually, you know what? Why didn't haven't I done this way? I'll just do the stairs like that. I should. I think that's the solution, really. You just make this stair, and just keep doing that. Should be fine. I can't see the door, but that depends on the perception, right? If I do that, it might destroy the door. I need to make sure it's just. 
Problem is when it leaves this kind of crap behind. God damn it. Hopefully I can recover that. Hey, is the door broken? Ah, no! <laughs> no! I keep doing too... Uh, like, behind the image is ruining it. I'll try it this way. That might be better. I'll do side angle. Or even diagonal. Let's see how it affects. Because I can do this, and there's a floor here. So all I have to do is... Yeah! Again! And there's less threat of it destroying the door because I'm looking on the side in the darkness. That's perfect! It should be just right! Excellent. Very ecstatic. Just have to do one more time. Diagonal, somewhat sideways stairs. It kind of just works. Everything over here gets deleted. Who cares? And then... Yeah. Ah, easy. Even though I messed up like three or four times, we're going to ignore that. 10-15 minutes, I've been playing for 26 minutes, God damn it. Hmm. I... I mean... Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. I mean, that was easy enough. It's not like Minecraft, where obviously you dig down, you die, but... Mm, right here. Oh, it's one of those goddamn moments, right? <laughs> God damn. Okay. How about this? Boom. Yoink. Uh, boink. Oh. This one's diagonal. No problem. I just have to make sure... There we go. That's... Eh, that works. We're not slipping down. We're, we're good. We're good. Not to worry. It's just slightly downhill. That's no problem. Oh. Maybe we're nearing the end and these are little funny bonus moments. Hang on. Uh... Hello. Oh, no secrets. We can look at all the photos just to see. He's got a nice little top hat. It's likely we need to go over there, but... It's on the moon? Oh. Do I get low gravity if I go on it? And last one. No, yeah, I mean... He's got shades. Oh, God. Maybe this one's a little bit flatter. It's an interesting technique, though. I'm not sure to what degree that game I was mentioning at the start, which maybe inspired this primarily, the whole depth perception, large, small things, like enlarging objects based on the depth perception. I never actually played that game, so I'm not sure how much is inspired, or, but, uh, eh. Just gotta... Not exactly stairs, but... <laughs> eh, we're gonna ignore the fact that it's mildly diagonal, whatever. The moon! Yes! Give me the moon! The moon! The moon! <laughs> Give me the moon. It's mine. Bonk. Oh. The end! Is it really, though? Would I fall off the planet? Like... 
I guess I can still understand what is up and down. This is... I, I would probably fall off, so I shouldn't. Punk. Sorry, Moon. Hey. The end. Thank you for playing. Created by Ken Forrest. But is there a way to escape this area and go beyond? We'll take this. I'll give her a try. Uh, is there anything? What if I break the door? Open door. The font doesn't get deleted. Um, let's try this instead. I just want to go through. Let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, nah. Doesn't look like there's anything else loaded. Hey, well that was Liminal Gallery. Ah, uh, not too much an indie horror game, but uh, I guess more realistically, walking simulator, that's fine enough. But in terms of like the mechanics, it's obviously interesting. Like I said, it felt like it was inspired by like three different games, if not more. It had inspirations and how it begun by the back rooms. It has Liminal, Liminal Fear. You know, it's like the stuff you see on Twitter where they'll be like, whoa, this is so Liminal, which is... I would agree with some people, probably, if you say, well, it's kind of boring, or it's overdone. It depends per person. But, in terms of the mechanics, uh, that's always interesting. I mean, I'm not sure, because it's not like game developers or indie game developers have beaten this kind of uh, mechanic to death yet, so it's always at least refreshing, especially for me, as I haven't played prior games like it. So it was a good little brain teaser. I don't play too many puzzle games. It was entertaining. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you want to play it yourself, of course, as always, link in the description down below if you want to try it out and try different methods to see if what you think in your head might apply in the game. Check it out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a full subscriber, and hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until next time. Wow.